it happened. Alert. Emergency oh episode, God. bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vision Pro reviews dude. are out. This is I, uh, an unsponsored I, bonus emergency episode. I can't sit on these thoughts and feelings for another three days. I have to get them <laughs> out. Okay. I know. Let's I don't even just, know. Let, How do we even start? There's How, no way to start. Do? There's no way to start. Okay. We, so we, uh, l- let me just set the stage for today and me going into this. Set the stage. For the past eight months, the only video of any kind that we've seen about Apple's n- new product, the, the next big thing following the Apple Watch, yeah, it was Apple video or photo. Yes. Or you know, like press that filmed Straight it. Straight up Just at the device. Yeah. But yeah, 100% fully controlled, fully articulated, perfect lighting. And usually, I think that when you go to an Apple event, see like the iPhone 15, I, I think it's actually pretty, very close to <laughs> yeah. the actual product. Except for the, the colors. you have. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the clothes <laughs> we've been over. I I felt a lot in the past few hours since watching these videos. Um, you felt a lot. And in this this episode of The Genius Bar, we're going to be going through all the reviews, talking about what we see in anticipation of ourselves receiving these Apple Vision Pro headsets. Just Again, stays Apple, away. Apple has said is our next big thing. I mean, I, I guess we should just start off with hot takes. All right, how, how many reviews have you watched? What have you seen? What are you What are you feeling? Watched like three or four of them. Uh, okay. Obviously, I think we both agree, according to Twitter, uh, that Neilize was the best. Yeah, yeah. The Verges uh, is is if you're gonna only watch one. Yeah. Watch, so here's watch the, the here's the thing. We'll, we'll start There's like a one. disclosure that I have to do. It's not my responsibility to do, but like I feel like it's important to mention. The reviews that are out, like not, <sighs> these are technically the first pieces of media that aren't like absolutely from top to bottom controlled by Apple, but these are still the people chosen by Apple to do the earliest reviews. Yes. And I think of those people, I think some of those people, it's very obvious why they were chosen. Like Apple knows what they're doing. They're a very smart company. Uh, out of all of those reviews that feels the most Honest and balanced, Neilize is up there. I think. I'm not yeah. saying I'm not saying that other people are being disingenuous. No. I'm just saying they are. Their opinions might be clouded by their excitement and just the, and the moment and uh, just just stuff like that. So uh, Neilai had a very balanced approach to it that I really liked. Um, so i i after i watch some of the reviews and stuff i get a text from sam that says, oh no john i'm sad so sam yeah. what did you mean by that text <sighs> i gotta know uh so i i've watched i think every piece of content that's been put online okay. today by, by a publication I, that I, wouldn't I've been, surprise I've scouring me. um i didn't wake up early I woke up around. I, I woke up earlier than normal for me, which I actually feel great today. I woke up. At, I woke up before eleven a.m. Basically, the first time I've moved to, in two months, and if, okay. I feel like a superhero, right? Why don't I be? <laughs> this is great. I went to bed at like one a.m. This is crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's super. I feel. I feel let down. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So I have my yeah. own notes and my own hot takes, but like you're the yeah. one that. Like my hot takes are not really that hot because they align with my uh, with yeah, the lukewarm. opinion I've been saying. But lukewarm. I'm takes. very curious about your opinion because for you to be let down, I'm curious, like what that means, what let you down specifically. Yeah. Well, hey, okay, let, let's let's start off by watching some stuff because okay. I, I I sort of what we're calling this episode. We watched every Vision Pro review, so you don't have to. I want to actually like show you things. Yeah. You know, obviously, full credit to all the people that got these early. John mentioned some things. You know, like these are selected Apple reviewers, so like obviously you're not going to see anybody taking the device apart or like really yeah. going crazy. But yeah. I mean, hey, let's let's just start off with the Verge's review. Yeah, and uh, just keep in mind if you're watching and listening, this is just a for fun bonus episode. These are not our final thoughts. Obviously, all we can give you right now is initial stuff. So our final thoughts. I mean, yes, we'll actually have them next week, but we probably still won't have our conclusive final thoughts. It's probably gonna take a second. So obviously, yeah. I'm we're not. I don't want to say that what we say about Vision Pro in this in this video or this uh, show is final because everything could change and get better. But right now this is, you know, we're just working with the information we got. Yeah. And this, I mean, this is our best, like Mm. that is 
one of the best pieces of hardware I've ever seen. Not oh, not the, just also the Verge's lighting, like oh god, they made it look no, so they good. Absolutely nailed it. This nailed it. product, dude, it it looks better in person than I thought it would. Like outside, would actually agree. seeing people use it, this is stunning. They nailed it. The industrial design team, fifteen out of ten. Like I. I am so excited to just see this thing. I, I it looks amazing. Yeah. I, I guess I think we agree there. They really okay. do. So yeah, we start out with some obviously. It's some so cool. unmistakably Apple. Yeah, some absolute insane shots of what it looks like, and then we start to see. Okay, somebody's actually wearing it. We're seeing gestures. I mean, this is the first time he my I've ever seen a human use this with my own eyes, or not even right. my own eyes, but just on video. And you can see he sort of, you know, immediately is like, hey, it's like a VR headset. Know that. And that was the first thing that I found interesting. Yeah. Did you notice that? That right off the bat, uh, and not just not just this review, but others mentioning like, hey, this is a virtual reality headset. Yeah. And that was the first thing. That's the first troubling thing, isn't it? Because yeah. then that brings up all the old arguments of like, well, you could just get this for 500 or you could get this for whatever. Like, yeah, the whole every time anyone has ever mentioned, oh, you could you could do that with the quest or whatever. The only thing separating it is like the argument of, well, this is different because this reason. And now everyone is like s s trying to preface by saying still a VR headset, just a very good one. Meaning that. It still has a lot of the limitations of a VR headset. And I, it's not that going into this, I was naive and expecting this to be like some perfect, un, you know, unflawed product by any means. Like that, that was not what I was, right. I'm, that's not still what I'm, to be clear, just so everybody knows, I'm still very excited to try this. I'm not oh, at yeah, all like, too. I'm not at all like, oh, Friday's ruined. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be so dumb. Like, no, I am. Cancel again, my the order. Thi the things that I have planned for this you should be check we should be tuning in to Apple yeah. Track on Friday for one video in particular because um I don't want to give away what one of my biggest concerns about this is. Okay. Let's just say it's a really, really big piece of glass on the front. It is. It is a very large piece of glass. You are not incorrect there. So take a take really with that large, information. curvy, shiny piece of glass. Take take with that information what you will, but I just want everybody to know that I have a lot of questions about mm -hmm. that part of the, the hardware, even if it's beautiful. Okay, so yeah, it's like this is a VR headset, which means that there's a field of view, and it means that the colors are not one-to-one -one with real life because it can't display all the colors, and it means all the screens it's are super sharp. It's 49 of the colors your actual eyes can see. Yeah. That is um, not a large percentage. Yeah. And it brings us to like, yeah, I mean, there's cameras and sensors everywhere, which I knew, but. Keep going. It's not as good as I thought it would be. You're so right. Like it's all, all this, all the things that are coming out now and being exposed, or I should say yes. revealed. Is yes. common sense stuff that you think we would have thought about already. But like I wrote down in my notes, just the field of view thing. Why did I never think about that? Same. I think Let it's just because in all that. the marketing and stuff, it's taking up when they show your you viewing through Vision Pro, it takes up the entire screen. It like almost implies that that's all you see, but it's not. It's like yeah. every other headset that sits further away from your eyes like that where – it's just blackness, and you're looking into you're looking out a window almost. Yeah, here's a good and example. And in this case, it, the field of view is less than that of the Quest. Yeah, so you, you can't see as much as you actually can, like with your eyes and peripherals naturally. I think it it'll go back to show exactly. Yeah, so like it shows sort of the color grading that happens on the vice. Thank you, The Verge, for doing this. I don't know who who did the, yeah, no, the effects they, on this, but thank you. It's really great. Um, and also the warping around the edges and stuff. It's like all yes, stuff that is common yes. sense, especially when you have, especially when you have cameras that are that small. Like it's impressive. It's incredible that they could put small cameras in there and the cameras be of substantial quality. But at the end of the day, there's still only so much that they can do and they still suffer from 
camera it's so, things. Yeah, it, it suffers from all of the same issues. <sighs> if you use a Quest, it has all the same issues, just at a higher level. So it's it's like they're, everything is more expensive and higher quality, but fundamentally the, the limitations exist throughout yes. all of VR the, headsets. That's what's so yeah, interesting the limit, about the this. The limitations, Apple... <sighs> That's why I have okay, been well, saying on this yes, show, like yes. I and, feel hey, like not all of this is Apple's fault. Like it's let, just let me fundamentally be, flawed. Let me be clear. Like you, you definitely made good points that I think I was blind to before. So I, hey, props to you for that. For the, the, that I was probably a bit too naive about this. But to be fair, I was only naive because of what Apple showed us, and now I see. <laughs> but here's I the thing. Saying. Here's the thing. If Apple would have been upfront about this and let people show it off more, I, I think my perspective would be less negative. I think it's the fact I genuinely, I feel like not a big rug, but I feel like a little rug got pulled from under me today. Just a little one. Okay. And it was a nice rug that, that kind of hid the big hole in the ground or, or a bunch of small holes in the ground, let's say. Um, are, a lot of people are like, what, what are you talking about specifically? So we should keep Are you disappointed? In. I hear what you're saying. Uh, would you have still been just as disappointed if this is what you saw in June? You'd just been disappointed sooner? <laughs> I don't think so because I think it would have happened all at once. I, I, I think... Well, that's I think that's the thing. Like, I did not believe them. I mean, I believe them to an extent, but it's yeah, it, I, marketing I, is marketing is going to be marketing is marketing. So... Fair. And and even in the end, there was there's still stuff that I didn't anticipate that I feel like I should have. Like I had my worries, and I've been trying to say like I feel like they didn't stick the landing. There's something they are missing, and I still didn't even consider simple things like what's the field of view going to like. It obviously is not going to take up your entire vision. Of course not. I don't. I don't know. I don't think I ever actually thought that. I'm not disappointed by that. I'm just reminded that that exists in VR headset. World. So. This is what I want to show next. What is this screen record mode and why the fuck is it so shaky? Yeah. This makes the experience look so damn cheap, dude. That's not, I don't, but that's now, how, now, here's that's the how thing. it is on every headset. I know, it's just I the know. motion of your head. I wonder if they use like, I, you know, like a stabilizer for their footage. So... I don't think that when you're in the headset, that's what it's going to look or feel like. Like, I don't think you're going to be in there and be like, oh, this is really shaky. But the fact that Apple, a $3 trillion company, didn't solve basic VR screen recording shakiness is insane to me. I was so, this, this is honestly my biggest disappointment. You showed in every video, Apple, this was super stable. Like, you know what? Let, let's just go and watch I, I Apple's guided wonder, tour video. Like, I, I, I wish we could see behind the scenes. I almost wonder if they had, like, a camera, a specially designed camera on a gimbal wearing Vision Pro. Dude, look at capture. the stability of this. Yeah. No, it's not like that at all. That They're not showing his, his head moving like that. Yeah. That's what I'm, I wonder if they have Vision Pro on a like on a gimbal. If they have a special one that doesn't like require your face to actually be there, and they're just recording, screen recording through one that's. But on that's a gimbal. messed up. If that's the case, dude, look at the stability of this interface. That is not what it looks like. No. Also, while we're looking at it, in case you haven't heard, you cannot change the home screen. Dude, you can't rearrange the icons. They are in alphabetical order. Which these aren't even in alphabetical order. No, they're not. The ones they're showing in marketing is not in alphabetical order. They're like nicely designed. Oh, it's it's almost like it looks better if you get to choose where they are. Dude, look. Okay, this is not recreatable for us. Look at how smooth that is. That's what I expected to see in these reviews. So my question for dude, look at. There's no shake. And also, the what you're seeing in the screen recording is how it's going to look to you, too. That's what the people are seeing. It's going to look like that. That's, that's you move your what head made very... me frustrated. And, and I, I thought, right, seeing, like, let me just play another clip from the Apple's Guided Tour. I thought for sure they would include a stabilized mode for sharing clips. I, th I was like, Apple nails this. They're going to want it to look perfect. They had years you could have just put one guy for the past three years being like, 
when everybody sees this, it's got to look perfect. It's got to look like Apple. And this, let me just play another clip. Like this just looks, <laughs> that is not what we see. Yeah, no, not, no, not at all. That is not it. No. And that is very, very disappointing and very frustrating for me as a content creator. Because at the end of the day, I'm thinking about how my videos are going to look. How am I going to share this? Mm -hmm. Let, let's go to another uh, another review. I can't remember who else showed. Uh, I think uh, Wall Street Journal probably. Yeah. Oh, I, I just seen Actually, she has the best um, like look at the UI. So okay. let's let's show I just seen Her video is really fun. It actually made me smile a ton. It's obviously not a critical review. Um, yeah. Because – I don't, yeah, she's not even, or she is calling it a review, but you know, it's I Justine. You're, it, she, she, she's having fun, right? And that's, that's awesome. Like, it, it made me think, like, this is kind of what I want my video to be like. It's just fun trying it on. Yeah. You know, it, it made me really excited to see it. But like, look at that screen recording. Yeah. Oh, we got to see that. That was not as, the actual we'll like, get there. UI element was not as stable as I thought. It was we'll get to be. the personas. We'll get the personas. I just want, we got, like I said, the emergency episode for a reason. Yeah. Dude. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> that looks like a fucking quest. <sighs> Am I wrong? I mean, that's what it is. It's just, it's a quest with way more money and resources behind it. So but yeah, I it's got higher like... quality displays and like, I'll, I'll wait. Don't you feel like Apple could have solved the screen? Couldn't they have added software stabilization somehow? Well, I well that's the thing. Like, if you try to stabilize that, then your tracking is also delayed, and there's latency there. I I don't think they could have stabilization for when you're actively viewing it, because then it would look weird. It would look stabilized. But I'm sort of talking for about when it's post. recording. Yeah, I feel yes, like it yes. should be actively stabilizing the recording. To be clear, I'm fine with the headset. I'm fine with the shakiness because that means it's responsive. It actually looks the most responsive I've seen, but. To, again, to, uh, this is content creator brain. This is not actually like yeah. user day to day. This is going to affect you, but content creator brain. It looks bad when you share the footage. There's the two footage things. Looks that, bad. There's two things that might be possible. They either one you put Vision Pro on a stabilized gimbal to record vid video footage through Vision Pro to make it look stable, or behind the scenes, the way they recorded themselves, they are using some sort of stabilization software, and they didn't give that to us. Like, is there a way that I Final can do product. that? In, can I do that in Final Cut at least? You think you could? Yeah, you could. You could always run it through some AI software, but like, you know, no promises. You're gonna right. lose a lot of like uh, resolution and crop area because of that, but you know, whatever. <sighs> Should we talk about FaceTime personas? <laughs> I suppose okay. so. This is an area that we are actually about to disagree on. Okay. I can feel it. Okay. I Good think Lord. this looks great. How? How do you think it looks great? I actually really, really like this. And look at Justine. That's not what she looks like. Look it, at Marquez. Kind, look at Brian. Kind of like, they Brian's all look exactly close. like themselves. Nah. To me. Now, actually, Justine, I've, actually Justine's I've met all three really people in, in person, so I can Valley. say that. Huh? I, I was saying I've actually met all these three people in person, so I can actually the only say one, like the only one looks... I haven't seen in person is Marquez. I mean, here let me play the like video so you can sort of see the expressions and whatnot. Um, here we go. So this is again I Justine sharing this, and oh, sorry, I did not hit play. It's gonna be on me, brother. So I Justine starts being like, "All right, let's do a FaceTime." Oh, I, I. I really like this. I, I know a lot of people are gonna say it looks like a joke. The hands look goofy. It looks like an can avatar. Can you tell me how? Like, can you tell me yeah. how though? Like, yeah, yeah. you Paul, are you are you paid um, as close attention to details as I do. I don't understand how you think. Yeah, yeah. Like Brian looks pretty okay, but you don't think Justine and Marquez are in the uncanny valley territory? Like something is not off. human about them. No, no, no! Don't get me wrong. I, I it, this this feature is also not final. It's it's beta for a reason. Apple knows it's not where they want it to be, but I there's something about this that I like. I there's like only the idea so much, of this. Though. There's only so I like many this, excuses we can make like that. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm just saying I like this. I that's totally another get thing people, in the marketing where it did not look like that. 
to me, this actually looks pretty close to like what I you, saw in the marketing. We, I'm not just you. I was on board with this too. Like, uh, that was one of the things that we've been mentioning. I like, can't wait to FaceTime and like, or do genius bar like this to be able to like actually see, Dude. be in the room with a person. But I would rather just see a screen like uh, with a camera on you. I, this is, I disagree. This isn't you. I, I'm telling you, man, I listen. I understand people saying this looks like dog shit and that there's, it's, it's uncanny. I don't think it looks I, like I, dog shit, but. Okay. I get people saying it looks uncanny and unrealistic. I understand. Like, I'm not ignoring that. I'm saying I like the way this looks and I can't exactly describe why. It's almost what I envision talking to somebody in the headset, lo- headset would look like. Like, it's not going to actually be them, but I, I also don't want an an emoji. Well, the, uh, well, I was going to say this, what you're seeing on screen right now, and if you're just listening to audio versions, like look at these reviews for yourself, look at the personas, the re, what you're looking at right now is the exact reason why VR headsets like the Quest go for an over the top, exaggerated, like caricature. Cause they'd rather do that than, than make it all only kind of look like you sort of kind of weirdly. But l- look at how good the eye and mouth movements are. I mean, watch Justine's mouth yeah. when she's talking. I mean, that that looks real. The fact that Apple's been able to achieve technically that is incredibly impressive to me. Brian Tong looks really good. But Brian I, Tong dude, are, in real think... life looks like he was generated by AI. I don't know what, <laughs> what that man's doing with his skincare routine, but Jesus. Yeah. I mean, dude, to me, even like, like here, look, that's what Justine looks like in her emoji. Or her her persona. Let's go back to actually her. Um, I yeah, mean, nah. it, it looks pretty close to me. I mean, yes, her eyes are it a little bit like different. It looks like she but... died and someone made like a hologram and we're like, you can spend an hour with I Justine. And it just kind of looks like that. <sighs> yeah. Again, I understand where people are coming from. This is actually a part that I I was actually very impressed by this. I, okay. I, I I'm happy I'm with the personas. That you were imp- like, yeah. To to use the word impressed is something. Yeah, I I I like this aesthetic. I like what they're going for. And again, this is literally the first version. I can this see where in six the, months to a year of the thing that Samsung was doing a few years ago. Like after Apple made the Memoji or whatever, Samsung did something similar, and it was like too close to you. They were trying to make it look like you, but it was, like, weird. Oh, I remember what you're talking about. Um, yeah, like, if Samsung gave us personas that look like that, would you be impressed? Or would you say something's off? Let me let me look at what Samsung's look like. This um, was years ago, so... I, and I'm just going by memory, so we'll see. This is 10 months ago, but it's an AR emoji, so I see... I mean, this is 10 months ago. Um... Yeah, these just kind of look like cartoon characters. I, I know what you're talking about. Sang Sung. It, it's like I know exactly yeah, I, what you're talking about. I know about. what you mean. It's in it's in beta, but like that's what's frustrating. This one. This, this is what you're this is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. That see that come on. That that's not almost that, it almost looks like John, me, I guess. That's the that, best. That's way not to put the it. same thing as persona. It, I just said it reminds me of this. Like that's it's. It, I get the same vibe of like <laughs> really. Uh, yeah, I get a totally different vibe. The the other one looks more real. Uh, what, yeah, I, I'm I'm standing like, by I that. Get, I, I like it. Apple has made it. They have made it unfortunately acceptable for their core audience to use the excuse of it's just in beta. We didn't used to do that. Things didn't just launch in beta, but they've made it somehow okay with their fan base. And so now they're they're allowed to give us a $3,500 product where one of the major marketing features they presented is not how they presented it. And people are, are still saying, that's okay, it's in beta. That's what we've trained people to say. Not just I, you. I'm saying like everyone is saying that. And I want to push back on that. I, okay, I actually right. think compared to what Apple showed, I think this is exactly that. If you watch, l- let me show you the f- the first Apple. Maybe th- maybe the issue is I didn't know that guy. You know that they sure or the pe- the people that they're showing in there, and it, maybe it, it's only you can you can only really tell the difference if you know what the other person looks like in real life or it's supposed to look like. 
Not sure. Yeah. L- let me, because if you watch this back, it's actually extremely close to what Apple showed. I mean, it might be okay. cleaned up ever so slightly. Again, it was probably perfectly lit. I mean, I'm going to do mine in front of like my big light here to get it to look as best as possible. Where is, where is the person? Right here. Here we go. So yeah, yeah. This is exactly one-to-one what Apple showed us. That's what that guy looks like. And I think it it looks a bit uncanny to me there. I mean, that that looks very identical he, to what we just like saw. A, there's more. I don't, okay, this is the best way I could present this. In this, what I'm seeing is more like elasticity in his okay. skin. Like the the real por- personas, there's a lot of things that are kind of frozen in place. Like your hair's frozen in place. Your skin, for the most part, is frozen in place. In place. So while it gets your your expressions like your eyes moving your and your mouth opening there's other facial muscles that are involved when those things are happening that aren't being shown in your recreated persona and i think that's why it's uncanny mm. and really okay. what is there to do about that you know like how are they supposed to know are they supposed to recreate all the muscles in your face like i mean hey maybe maybe <laughs> um, i that's the, that's the thing for me that's really disappointing is a lot of people were like, you know, this is going to change the world next week. Well, you just wait till the reviews are out or you just wait till we have it or till we see it. And then we see it. And there's a lot of things that are being revealed and that are areas that it falls short. And then people are, th- it's like they forgot what they said about, oh, it's going to change the world. And they're excusing it instantly. Oh, it's in beta. Oh, it's just first gen. Just wait till the second gen. Why are, wh- who, who convinced us that that's acceptable? And, a lot of times, it's us, the people that understand this the most, that are supposed to be the ones that look out for the regular people. Like, we're the bridge between these companies and their what what can be bullshit marketing and the reality of the product. We're the bridge there. And we are helpful to no one when we go on Twitter and we just excuse everything because there's an Apple logo in front of it. Just being like, oh, first gen... It, it'll be better next time. But what about the product that they made you buy right now? That they released right... I guess they didn't make you buy. But the one that they released right now. How come we're not allowed to ju- judge that product? I have I have worries about this product. How does, your, how does anyone answering about version 2, Gen 2, help me with this product right now? And how is this product supposed to get better? Like, oh, oh sorry you threw $3,500 away. It'll get, be better next year. Like, what do, what do you... Apple fans are the most insufferable insufferable fucking people sometimes and I can't stand it. If you love the company, you're not doing a, you're doing them a disservice by just sidelining everything they do and excusing everything they do. Nothing has to get better if you're just going to be okay with it being subpar. I think that's just their opinion. They can be excited about the next gen. I think it's just like you a You don't agree opinion. about like tech community Apple enthusiasts. I mean, it's everywhere. Right now, I'm talking about Apple fans specifically, though. How easy it is to just... No, Apple can do no wrong. If it's wrong, there's that's an excuse. Not, that, that's not true. People make, you make, people make negative videos about Apple all the time. This entire I'm podcast not, is largely I'm been not, negative I'm about not, their thing. I'm not saying that no one speaks or tells the truth about Apple. I'm saying the majority of Apple fans on Twitter... Like, I'm not talking about the people making videos. Some of those people, too. But I don't, I don't want to, like hurt anybody's feelings but a lot of the a lot of the people on twitter a lot of the fans the ones with the emojis in their username shockingly enough are just excusing everything but i'm that's, not saying no one tells the truth but i'm saying a lot of people are ignoring the sure truth. I'm, I'm not listen i'm not disagreeing that a lot of people are looking past things but if they want to look past it let them do that like that's how Sh- they perceive Sure, but I could they're, say the they're sa- not reviewers. I don't think they have a responsibility. I could say the to same anybody. thing about. I could say the same thing when you make fun of Android people. Like, just let. I'm just sharing my opinion. Yeah, they can, they're allowed to do that. Yeah, but they're, they're, they, they are. I, I'm t- I'm trying to say that I feel like they're not doing anyone a service by by acting that way. It's naive. It's childish. It's immature. It's not good. See, I I think you're putting labels on it. That I, yeah, I, mean, I think people are just expressing people, let, let people be excited about stuff. This is something I've done that is bad. I, I've, 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 I've ratted on, I, I've, I've been harsh on Android users for stuff that foldable phones, right? I shit on foldable phones all the time. 
Same. Some people are really excited about those. And, you know, I, I feel like as I've started to mature in the past year, we're not even close to there. I still think about Android tweets on the daily because it's funny. But, like, I, uh, you You think people just go on, oh, it's in beta, laugh emoji. I've seen so many of those. Like, they are dismissing people with actual constructive criticism by just laughing in their face because Apple says in beta. Like, you are just... You are, you're part of the machine at that point. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Can I be honest with you? You can be honest with me all the time. I, th I think you're letting a few people on the internet get in your head by reading comments and responding to stuff. It's, but that's my that's, job is to, is to see how most people are reacting. I have to pay attention to most people because I, it, then I won't know how to talk to them. Sure. But I mean, obviously most people is not tech Twitter. Correct. It's just I have a to specific try to teach groupa. the people on tech Twitter how the rest of the world works, <laughs> and it's hard when they are. They're I don't know. I mean, even you said it like you you kind of fell for a lot of the marketing. We're blind to it, but you're not. But that's that's the thing. Like you are able to think for yourself and see the stuff and go, okay, that's a little underwhelming. Yeah. For someone to go, nope, all of it, whatever, you know, just first gen. That's goofy as hell. Anyway. That I, sure, that, that's fair. There's I'm nothing not, else I can say, but no, you know. I, I'm not. I'm not saying that you're wrong, brother. I, I, and I'm not even saying that that isn't naive. I'm just saying, like, I, you know, I, I guess I don't. I don't view it as my job to change somebody's mind or educate. I'm just trying to share my experiences, and like, I just want to share. I mean, the mission of Apple Track, which I've said for a while, is like, and I, I've been thinking about this more and more lately. Like, I just want to get people. I've sort of realized like what I, I feel like I want to do as a human. Like I grew up, this is getting super deep, super fast. Let's do it. I grew up like an <laughs> extremely nerdy kid that a lot of people like, I didn't get bullied, but everybody, it was always like, it was a joke, right? The tech nerd, right? Like I'm sure you being called a nerd is like a yeah. diss, right? But, yeah. it, and it was never like, I mean, I'm very lucky in the case that like the grade school that I went to, everybody knew each other. Every, the high school uh -huh. I went to, everybody was like, it was never like, ha ha Sam. It was just like, ha ha nerd. Like, okay. you know, just broad. <laughs> yeah. it, it wasn't like personal. It was just like, hey, you're kind of nerdy sometimes. Ha ha. Yeah. We're still going to be your friend and hang out with you. Like, but there's things that you do. And I, I've really realized that I, I think a lot of my mission is like, I want to show people how sick tech, tech is and make it not associated. Like, you don't have to be somebody like us. And I, dude, I've noticed like part of it's working. I've noticed a lot of my fans that like say, hey, which I always appreciate. I appreciate everybody. But a lot of the people that like say, hey, are like, they don't, they don't fit that build of the nerd mm -hmm. like I, i've noticed that with my audience it's like gym rats and like uh, I, I just people that you wouldn't associate being interested yeah. in tech products like it and again this is not everybody it's just some people i've noticed something that i i, I think that sort of goes back to and you know me john i'm always trying to give everybody an extra of course just, yeah an extra you know whether <laughs> <Yeah>. it's <laughs> Whether it's case to fire somebody else, yeah. I'm trying to give it. So you know, these people, I'm just like, you know, let them be excited. I'm not, I don't want to make people not excited. I just don't want. Sounds like you want to make people feel reality, but isn't that, I think at the end of the day, it's not like yeah, your reality. Yeah, it's not my job to make Apple look good. Like, Correct. I And that's why you, you are. A lot of my, and I've said this, I think maybe like a couple episodes ago, a lot of my new direction or what I'm trying to do stems mm -hmm. from watching you do what you do. Like, you care in ways that I just don't. And because of that, there's a certain energy that you can give that you are like the perfect person for because it's genuine. Like if I tried to act like <laughs> you because I think it would be a good YouTube video yeah, or a good TikTok, I don't fucking mean it. But like you actually mean it and that's that's uh, that's intoxicating. It's interesting. Um, it's contagious. I love that. I want my I I I want people I want to help people think differently. I don't want to change their mm -hmm. mind. I just want to help the I just want to add perspective. And when I'm talking to people that follow me, I'm not saying you have to agree with me, but when you are just closed-minded, that might be the most frustrating thing about the tech community mm -hmm. and Apple fans specifically because I know it's coming from a place of love. 
and I know that they love the company, but love doesn't mean they can't do any wrong. And some like there's so much about this product that doesn't feel. A lot of people keep mentioning Apple Watch, right? <clears throat> and like, well, look at the Apple Watch and look what happened. The difference is the Apple Watch launched with flaws. I am worried, and I'm just speaking from initial yeah, look. From what you've seen, yeah. I am worried that the Vision Pro does not ship with flaws. I'm worried that the Vision Pro ships flawed. With limitations that can't be solved. Yeah, like the like it's the concept itself. It's what Apple is what they their their understanding of what the future is that is flawed and maybe incorrect, which is what I've been trying to say yeah. from day one that yes. they didn't like Apple had to tell me what what they think the future is, and I feel like they didn't stick the landing. And th in reality, they just gave us like another one of those headsets. It's a really good, high quality headset. But then we hear other things like this, uh, you know, the screens, forty nine percent of the color reproduction, not great. The fringing on the side, the barreling of the cameras on the edges of the cameras, and that's just in good lighting. Again, common sense tells you that when there's low light, those things aren't going to behave as well. But Neilai did a fantastic job in his review talking about when they when they when low light occurs or when you're in low light, the cameras are then compensating. They're they're not great in low light, and then they start compensating by adding noise noise reduction and stuff, which softens your the look of everything, and your even things like you know, of course your hands have to be in frame for the cameras to see your hands to to do stuff. But that limits where your hands are, and you got to be thinking about where your hands are now. It's all just yeah. I I, okay, know. so I, let me let me just touch on your your point that you made there. I I very much hear what you're saying, and I I want to first of all thank you for all the compliments you gave me. I really do appreciate that. It means a lot. Oh yeah, somebody that I very much respect is you know a, a creative genius, and I've said that for a while. And I think something that you are really good at too, that, you know, something I want to get better at is making people think differently. Like I think parts of your Tim Cook documentary did that. I think, um, there, I can't remember what the line was in your most recent video, but there was something that you said where I was, I disagree with a lot of the video just because I'm me. Right, <laughs> and I was like, ah, he's being silly here. No, yeah. no. But I realized it made me engaged. And there was one line that you said where I was like, huh, I didn't think about that. And that's coming from okay. me who, I mean, you know, I yeah. literally live and breathe this stuff. So, I mean, that means it's probably happening on a much larger scale to people that are more casual. And it's mm -hmm. just a, a, you know, an interest rather than a passion. Well, that, so, that, that makes me feel good. Like if I can, yeah, can if worked. I can convince I mean, you. Then, yeah, yeah, no, you, there, I can't, again, I can't remember what it was, but it was, it was something about vision pro that you had said Yeah. Um, where I was like, Hmm, yeah, I hadn't thought about and thought about that and I, I yeah. got I that's why I fucking love this podcast dude is because like we get to have these discussions in a way that yeah like okay so here's Those a great the best example episodes too like yeah. when we when we come in with different views and then end up somewhere in the middle is always a, a beautiful thing humans are yeah. cool I want to show this part because this is the low light cameras that we're talking oh. about and Jesus Christ and look here, at the here's the thing look at the, the oh how soft it, it is on the edges it doesn't actually look as bad as I thought it would. I think my expectations were on the ground. Okay. It doesn't look good, but it doesn't I look I wonder what it looks like. Bad. So this is like after it's put into, like, rendered as a, I'm going to guess yeah. an MP4 and put onto YouTube with YouTube compression. I'm curious what that looks like. Yeah. Uh, uncompressed and just on your eyes. Right? Like, I want to know. I mean, and I still, okay, there was another part, I think, during the- Vision OS still looks great, by the way. Yeah, I mean, yes, yes, and no for me. I feel like the windows floating kind of looks weird. That looks not good. I don't and like it. I don't know if it's because Neilai set it up all fucky. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck. but uh, yeah, I would not look at anything like that. Like, okay, the Mac. Dis Here's a surprising thing: the Mac display mirroring actually looked more appealing than I thought it would. Like I, I actually didn't plan to use this feature at all, and now I'm like, man, on a plane, uh -huh. it could actually be really nice to have a giant hundred inch Mac display while I'm editing. That that was a part that surprised me. I genuinely expected the secondary Mac display. Uh -huh. Like, let me come on, let's get to it. Yeah, like I didn't expect to even w think about using that day to day. Yeah, but, love that he mentioned like continuity and stuff working with it as well. Yeah, I mean, I was like, okay. That's actually like not, I mean, you'll have a mouse and keyboard. You can type. 
On so Vision he, Pro, and it sounds... he said something that really that was really interesting to me, and I don't know okay. why I hadn't heard it until now, but he said he was told by Apple that Vision OS is based on iPad OS. Yes, yes. That made me really scared when he opened with that. Yeah. Did you <laughs> that's also the worst thing a... he could have said. Yeah, I would rather be like, he's pot... based, it's based on watch OS. I would have felt yeah. better. If he Honestly, said that. dude. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I was like, what do you mean, Apple? I've had OS, yeah. but he did clarify. It's like, well, you know, it's the best possible yeah, iPad OS yes. base could ever be. Um, I mean... A lot of what they showed... Is, this looks like a gimmick. Let me just say it. These windows floating in the space looks like a gimmick to me. That's the least just, compelling use of Vision Pro that I could imagine. And I, I felt this way from the beginning, but actually... I mean, this again, this is not perfect Apple video. This is seeing it do you feel similar to seeing these yeah. windows it just seems like a lot like this seems like a lot of work especially for the amount of weight that's on my face like yeah. they all keep talking about how heavy it is marquez when he did his he didn't really uh, full respect to marquez for not doing a full review yet yeah, let's um, his, because uh, when marquez awesome. speaks on a product like that it's gonna be you know, people, it's going to matter a lot. And so I appreciate him not rushing the review. He just did an unboxing. And even in his Marquez, you know, easygoing, not really saying anything bad persona. Dude. It really yeah. came across like it was heavy on his face. Yeah. Let's talk about his unboxing. He shows a lot. Dude, this, I am so happy I bought the travel bag. I think that is 100% worth $200. Does look great. It looks like a cloud. It looks now it's big. And we'll revisit that in a second. But I mean, yeah, let's show let's show the unboxing here. I mean, that's the packaging. Just like the leak that we saw. Shout yeah. out to Mac Rumors. I'm so spot sorry, on. audio listeners. You're having a terrible day. Uh just yeah, big I, box. Big Big shoe white. Box. Sorry. You're right. You're so, something else I want to give you props for. You're really good at explaining things to audio listeners. I'm really bad at that. So I want to get better <laughs> this year. So yes, it's a it, think of a I just remember anytime you say look, everybody, I'm like, okay. <laughs> Gotta think about the audio people. Like Eight MacBook Pro boxes sort of stacked on top of each other, but one single white box. It's like pretty big, yeah. pretty wide. Uh, the Love how it's just tabs. sitting on top when you open it up, though. Yes, that Beautiful is presentation. so hot. So inside, it just sits. I mean, yeah, that's incredible. As far it's as like, I'm concerned, the, the standard band that comes with it is only for this moment. So you open it up and see it. It looks really good. <laughs> that band seems useless. I don't know. The more Marquez I look made it at seem it, useless, and if Apple didn't consider it maybe kind of sometimes useless, they it's very unlike them to for free ship a whole extra band with something. For they sure, they must That's, not be sold themselves on this band. Look at it; looks so squishy. And nice. It does. It looks wonderful. Oh, it looks the, again the hardware, man. Oh, I cannot wait to just look at this thing. It's it's stunning. Um. Yeah, it comes with a dual loop band. It comes with battery in the box. Only a 30 watt charger. I'm like, that's kind of whack. Mm -hmm. Like a standard braided USB C. It's fine. There's the battery. Um, Cable is not removable on the battery as of right now, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, and then Apple has some documentation, of course. Oh, the polishing cloth is different. It's thinner and it's uh, actually a unique polishing cloth that you get with Vision Pro. Yeah, it has a. Uh, it's kind of cool. It says Vision Pro on it. Um,. Let's take a look at this solo, this dual loop band. Uh, band comes off really easily. Yeah. It is so well designed, honestly. Yeah, no, I mean, this thing is, it's the best looking VR heads that I could have imagined. Like, it looks so insane. Um, and then here's how you swap out the band. You just pull the little tabs. Let me get to that part. This man does a lot of yapping in this video. Okay, so yeah, here we go. The little pull tab inside. You basically just pull it and then it detaches, which is pretty nice. So super easy to change. Obviously, third party market about to go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and entire businesses are about you to be put made that this. on. And it does look more comfortable. It, it looks it, a lot uh, more it comfortable. It looks more comfortable. It also looks fucking terrible. That looks like an aftermarket, like compared to how mm. good the actual headset looks. And then it's just some elastic. I'd call it mid. It looks mid. Yeah, compared pretty to mid. The other band. The other one looks great. This one looks pretty mid, but it still looks very Apple-y. It's all white. I mean, yeah, it looks it looks good. You get the little cover for free on the front. I mean, yeah, you basically have to buy a case for this thing if you're taking it somewhere. Because yeah, cover ain't gonna cut it. 
dude, look at this bag though. It's like white, cloudy. I mean, it, it looks just as good as the product. The, the case yeah. looks insane. I hate that I care this much about the case, but I do. No, that's Sam. That sounds like that's Sam. That's just me. You got a little accessories pouch for like your charger and stuff, and then it all zips up inside. And I will be Lovely. carrying that on a plane with me. And no one, not even the TSA, can stop me. <laughs> Sir, you only get one carry-on and one personal item. Oh, the Vision Pro is actually embedded into my left arm. I'm sorry. Sorry, can't help you, yeah. I'm walking onto the jet bridge with this thing. You can't rip it off my face. That's assault, <laughs> Jamie. Yeah. Uh. I mean, yeah, Mark has a video. It's an 18-minute unboxing. I, I was hoping for more. Like, any, I mean, he he literally puts it on. Wait, is this an ad? Wait, he put an ad in this? It seems like it. Yeah, what? an anchor ad. I thought Apple didn't allow and they just, that. They just accidentally sponsored us. Dude, what? Uh, can we talk about the the thing that I think is That's the most crazy. troubling? Let's do it. What do you want me to pull up for B roll? What, what what best illustrates what you're thinking Eyesight. about? Okay, let's pull up. Uh, who had? I feel like Neil oh, did a really good. Again, everything goes back to Neil, but whoever did, you want to pull up. Did this person do? I saw. I can't remember. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is good. This is the one I was thinking of. Oh goodness gracious! Not at all what it looks like in the marketing. This is why Tim Cook didn't put it on. Because we have seen too much of Tim Cook to believe that, uh, first of all, the actual quality of eyesight is uncanny and weird, but I could get this past that. It's just, it's, it's uncanny and weird, and the front display is bad. Okay, it's, yes. It's low res, it's hard to see, mainly because the, the glass, that outside glass is just so shiny. It's yeah. not at all as, like, their, their whole goal was to make it more human. And they it made it weirder. I'm like I'd rather I don't think I'd there. rather I'd rather just not see your eyes, dog. Just put the glowy screen there, or or mm. cover the front like the Quest. I don't know, but or do this better. But in order to do this, this is one of those things that I don't think software can fix because I it's a it's the it's the actual quality of the screen itself. Like well, why skip out on that? Technically, this is part of the Persona beta, so this should get better. But the actual display quality won't. <laughs> okay, that looked really bad. I've not seen that part before. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. good lord! So that's and bad. like the cl and people have shared taking pictures of like close up where you can see each individual pixel, and it's just yeah. So let me pull up uh, Concept Central's tweet on that. There are things that that went not as great as Apple and we hoped. So, yes, this is bad, and I completely agree Good that I am Lord, disappointed dude. by the quality of this display. I, 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 it does look very weird and bad, well, and I, I am shocked. I agree. My, my thought, I had a thought when I was watching, when I was hearing Neli show this, and hearing him say things like, it only represents 49% of, of, of the color space that your eyes can see and all that stuff, and the fringing and the... For all the things that they struggle to do perfectly, that is yeah. understandable if we're going to use the first gen excuse. The one thing for $3,500 that should have been absolutely nailed are displays. Like, these, these displays Fair. are Fair. much better than the $500 Quest displays, obviously. Yeah. But for having similar issues, is it that much better for thirty five hundred dollars? Like if that's if this whole time I have been saying that I'm excited for to I'm excited for the fidelity of it all. The you know people saying that it even back in the day when it was just Apple employees that had worked on the project saying it's indistinguishable from real life. That stuff was super exciting, but in reality, it's. Just like it has all the same limitations and issues that displays would have in a VR headset, and that's what they claimed to have figured out. Yeah. And it just doesn't feel like they 
I don't feel like they lied because it's just at the end of the day, it is just marketing. But man, for all the things they couldn't nail, this feels like yeah. one of the things they absolutely should have nailed. And it's just yeah. here's a picture of uh, damn. Mark S. Brownlee. Oh, so difficult. I I will say. The more I've looked, initially looking at the eyes, I didn't think they were that ba- that bad. I will say, looking at some of these fringe, not not even fringe examples, just more examples. Uh, yeah, it looks kind of bad. And these are things that we're seeing that are being revealed and exposed that we think are bad from the people that were picked to review it. We only have like five good examples. It's going to be insane when we all have it and we're all able to like. Yes. There's going to be so many other things that we we just find quirks that we find. And quirks are hard to find in $3,500 worth of stuff, man. But I will say the uh, the front display in general, I think, was a good call. I mean, this the front display looks insane. Let me – I want to show Do you this. Think that, like, that looks dope, dude. It does, but if I there was li- no like front that. display there and the cost came down, is that, would that be better to you? It's like if you're gonna make me pay that money, why didn't? Why is the display? Why? Why do I still gotta question the display? I mean, from here it looks good. I mean, to be clear, it looked like that that fr- that shot was like a macro. You're gonna be literally like, I mean, sh- show my camera. Like you're gonna be like this in front of it. Like that's where the lens looked yeah. like it was. Where it's like if you're actually nobody's gonna be unless it's your also, lover, I guess. Yeah, so not and also good lighting on, on what we're showing on screen right now. It's it's Neil's thing, but the 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 front side of him is dim. Like there's no. In actual light, it's much harder to see. Like, it doesn't look like yeah, that, dude. Yeah, That's okay. fucking horse shit. That's true. It does the, not look like we that. We mentioned in the last episode how iconic that image is of that woman. <sighs> Sorry, I still don't know her name. Best woman they could have, best, like, model they could have chosen to be, like, the, yeah. the face of Vision Pro. The iconic main marketing image depicts not what it actually looks like. It's not that bright. It's not that bright. Like, that looks like they just photoshopped her real eyes there. That can't be directly from Vision Pro. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> but then there's there's another dish shot right here. Like, dude. I That looks so cool. It does. Looks like the future. Yeah, like, I... That... It almost feels like, yeah, maybe, maybe, I mean, maybe they should have cut eyesight. Maybe it should have just been, yeah. there's a front display that sort of does these loading screens and the whole eyes thing, they should have been just an internal prototype because that almost looks stuff, better. It, it does. does look better. I would rather see that than eyes. And this stuff doesn't, yeah. isn't exclusive to Vision Pro either. Like that's what HomePod, that's, they, that is being basically taken from HomePod, that style of design. Yeah. But that looks, I mean, it looks good. I, I, I still like the front display. Damn, I just want to try this so bad, man. It's almost like we have, dude. It's three days from recording this. Yeah. Probably two days from when when you're listening to this. <sighs> man, <Crazy>. I don't. <sighs> That's I think all my all the worries that I had that I voiced from literally day one have come true have literally come only true. gotten worse the more we've seen they've come and i don't roost. think i expected that i think i expected to for things to start to look better and not completely change my mind but begin to be more optimistic i'm still excited uh but optimistic i wouldn't use i wouldn't use that word and I'm sorry for the noise. out. I guess they just decided to start uh, mowing my yard out in the front. I guess that's what we get for recording a podcast in the daytime. I don't even hear it, so. Okay. You're showing. Yeah, and then I see all these windows, and I'm like, what is going on? But that looks so cool, dude. That that's seems so overwhelming. Me. Maybe it won't be once we're in it, but. Oh, dude. I, yeah, I. <sighs> There's parts that made me really sad. There's parts that made me like really what? happy. Like the front display looking cool makes me really happy. The design mm-hmm. made, me, made me really happy. The, I mean, people say the hand and eye tracking is magic for the most part. I, I will see. If your hand's I, in the right spot, the I'm, eye tracking I'm looks kinda, incredible. 
I'm kind of skeptical. Like, it just doesn't sound real. I'm I'm skeptical of the hand tracking because obviously your you, the cameras have to see your hands, and if it's dark, it's like a there's a whole layer of questions there. But the eye tracking looks dead on. Yeah, highly impressive. Yeah, I um. Is there anything that you saw? So there's stuff that you've seen today that makes you take a step back and be a little worried. Is there anything you didn't expect that made you happy? Yeah, I mean, the, like the hardware design of just like this looks sick. I was not expecting it to look that good, which is not, okay. it doesn't actually matter because it's just the design. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me, it was personas. Like, I, I actually. Oh, interesting. Okay. I, personas, All I right. actually feel better about I'll let you have seeing that, yeah. that they actually look like. Um, weight, I feel more neutral on the negative after hearing people talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think the goal of this is to like live in this for eight hours a day. I mean, people could argue, right? Like, why did Apple make it a two and a half hour battery pack? Why didn't they just make a bigger battery pack? Could have done it. Could have made a yeah. twenty thousand. Because that'd be too heavy. Pack. And then you well, you wouldn't have pocket. to buy a second one, Sam. I would. I I would say it's maybe because that right now it is kind of just intended to be used for a short time. This this is. It's almost like the best and worst look at the future yet. <laughs> that's a good way to put it because in some ways it's like man yeah augmented reality but but then apparently there's not that much just augmented reality stuff yeah no it's a lot of mixed reality which expected but which I have a feeling we are going to see a ton more at WWDC again I'm not excusing I'm just saying mm -hmm. I I'm with you this product at launch is more limited than I think th than I thought Based on what we've seen, it's Again, more limited than I... it should be allowed to be. Is how I feel. If it what if if this is what they got, we sh they should have waited a little bit. That that's just I, people are going to disagree, and that's fine. But you can only release this product for the first time one time in the history of everything. I mean, listen, I'll say it. Seeing all of this, I definitely tend to agree with you more than I disagree. Just yeah. because I mean, it you do, you do, you're not getting the vibe that I wanted it to fail. No, I'm not. Okay, good. I'm I don't want it to fail. That you're a little I, disappointed. I, I'm a little I don't disappointed. even know. I this is the weirdest product because, and to be fair, it is going to take us actually trying it. But it's the it's a weird Apple product because I have gone so long without a stable opinion. If that makes sense. Yes, it's like, like I, I haven't. Like, I'm like, caught in anxiety. limbo. Yes. Yeah, I'm caught in limbo, and that feels so weird with I an hate Apple it. product. I hate this feeling. I just and listen, guys, if you want to, I mean, yeah, tune into the next episode coming out. I'm gonna be honest; it's probably not gonna be like first couple of days. It's probably gonna be like regular genius part time, most likely. You know, yeah, it'll probably be like Sunday, Monday uh, kind of area. But I, I mean, I. <sighs> I don't know. I, I have to be honest. My and in saying that my initial reaction was I did have a what is this moment on okay. on my couch. And I, well, I this was not like me like eating a sandwich. This was me like in front of my couch like this. Okay. What happened? Watching on my TV. I watched it actually on my TV, which I never do. It was like that big of an event for me. And I watched the Verges first and like the initial reaction was like, oh my God, the hardware, like just watching this video, the hardware is insane. Oh my God, this is so cool. I can't I wait. I don't, I mean, they almost oh made God. it look better than Apple made it look. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, that looks great. And then as soon, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then as soon as I see this, I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, then it just cuts. And I was like, wait, 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 what? I watch uh -huh. it. Then it was like, okay, we're doing some comparisons to early headset. Whoa. Okay. There's the battery. Okay. Looks really, really good though. I mean, that shot is insane. Like, shout yeah. out to the, I mean, their video team can't compete. I feel like their video team's back. They were kind of mid for a while, but they're back. Uh -huh. I saw Sometimes, their, but for like special occasions, they really pull it out, you know? Yeah. But I was just like, that looks dumb. Maybe, maybe, okay. Maybe it's just the moon. Like, <laughs> that's not a realistic place anyone can go. How did they even get this? Did they send a fucking drone up to the, sorry for the language. Did they send a drone up to the moon <laughs> and be like, make it vision be all rendered? Yeah. The last thing Ugh. that I'll note that I was shocked by, I saw in the wall street journals review. I noticed that, uh, God, that shot looks so bad. I'm so sorry. Audio listeners. I don't even just, 
No, you just got to watch the video. Just apologize. Yeah, the Wall Street Journal review, there's a certain shot in it. What's the timestamp there? I mean, you can just pull it up right now. It's this last shot at the end of Personas. It's at 339. 339 is just comically bad. <laughs> like, I can't... Uh, yeah, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Goodness. Um, but there's also part of it that looks sick. I, I don't know. I don't know. The battery. I think that's why I'm so worried and why I keep voicing my opinion is because I want this to be good. I want this to do well. The cooking thing was cool. Cooking thing what, that is a good use case. It's kind of what we pulled up on uh, Genius Bar where someone was using it with their car or something. Did you show me that? I think we did the concept. What? Wait, you can set a timer over each? That's Dude. pretty fucking sweet. See, that? that's... That's that. That's that future thing that I'm talking about. Yeah. Like... But, Sam, <sighs> that doesn't require a full headset. That's that's the hard part. It's like regular people are going to love that, but we're not oh. Well, you need the cameras to make it that realistic. You, like we've both used the current state of AR headsets, the AR glasses, I should say. Yeah. You, you're not going to be able to achieve that depth and that quality of No, which is but that's position. what I'm saying like then don't put it out this year. Like they the, I think that this is something I said in literally my first video about this after WWDC. I said the issue is they release the, the, for what they want to do and what the future of this product is. It shouldn't have come in the same form factor and the same package as like the Quest and all that because now it just is one of those. And now, I mean, people are already prefacing in their reviews, you know, that it is just a VR headset. And that's what I kind of didn't want. I thought it was going to be different than just a a, a, v, a better VR headset. A better VR headset isn't Apple. Like, it's not revolutionary enough. Doing the same things the other ones do, but at a higher fidelity and a better quality isn't enough to me. That's not why I love Apple. And I think that's why I'm taken aback. I agree. I, I agree. I, I, actually, I would say our sentiment right there is like spot on. I also thought this was going to be more than a fancy VR headset. I wish and I would have thought of those words sooner. Yeah. But that, we wouldn't have known. We didn't know until today. Today was... Today, Apple put their stake in the ground and they said, for a couple of years, this is going to be a VR headset. It's going to get really, really good and really, really light. And I, I have a feeling by the end of this, we're going to get a Vision Pro Air that is like a couple hundred grams and it's gonna be nuts and we are gonna be like holy shit vr is crazy and there's gonna be i would, ex I would expect version two by the end of next year not saying think, i know anything i'm just saying you think we're gonna get it that quick i mean it feels like that's what they need to do we're well, hearing befo before this was even okay. released we were already hearing about the second one like uh, what they're doing for the second one so they're obviously like in the middle of that right now I'm trying to find because Guo has and, put out some, and I things. think this came later than they wanted it to. I think Vision Pro Two is is late next year. I'm seeing 2027. There's no way they wait three years. There is no, no. way we have this hard. Maybe the maybe a cheaper one, but like a, ver, a Vision Pro Two. Because this just says new screens would be. Brighter and more efficient displays in 2027. Nobody, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, okay. I will say I'm not pulling that, that's not an opinion. Oh. But I'm not saying that people should go out and report it either. You know what I mean? I'm just like, this is if I'm just friend to a friend talking to, if I, if we, if no one was recording us right now, I'm just, okay. you know. I mean that, listen, that makes sense to me. Like end of next year, I could see a new version, but. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking. We don't. Yeah, there's, there's no, there. We, we wouldn't see three years for this. There's no way. Yeah, December. Yes, we're already talking about Apple Vision Pro two. So the first one hadn't even launched. Hold on, or hadn't on. even shipped Pro? and stuff, and people were talking about the second one. 
Yeah, which that doesn't sound like 2027. Let's see. Oh, did you see this? This was news. Yeah, we talked we talked about that. Oh no, Ma- sorry, Mac rumors had their own. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I, I pulled up the wrong thing. I kind of gaslit you there. That's my B. <laughs> uh, Mac rumors has exclusive. I mean, this is getting into analyst territory. They say that they've heard over 200,000 of these have been sold. Great. How much money is that? Let's do the money. So let's just do 200,000 times $34.99. billion dollars or something. That is $700 million. Did I say that, $7 that billion? <laughs> Apple made 700 Could you imagine what your bank account would look like if it just had $700 million sitting in it? Yeah. That's that actually crazy. That Apple but the, the, million dollars off this headset? That doesn't even scratch the surface, though. Like, I know. It costs them probably $2,500 just to make. So two-thirds of that is just them recuperating their costs. Dude, yeah, no, that's insane. Wow. Um, the other thing I wanted to highlight was, yeah, where Mac, like, I feel like there's been Vision Pro 2 Ming Chi Kuo or Woman Chi Vision. Can I say Pro. something? Do it might it. be con- controversial. Do it. I think I'm going along with the, uh, in terms of what I was saying about how it doesn't feel like Apple. It doesn't feel like they moved the needle f- on anything. Enough. Like usually when Apple gets involved, there's, they make a leap forward. They didn't do anything with Vision Pro other than eye tracking. I will say eye tracking looks like incredible R&D occurred. Just incredible talent and resources and programming happened to make eye tracking work the way it does or the way it appears to work. But other than that, they have not done anything that Facebook couldn't also do if they were willing to make you pay $3,500. Like the only reason... This is the quality that it is, is because Apple is a company that has the resources that they can put out a $3,500 headset. They can put that much hardware in it. Facebook can't sell you, Meta can't sell you a $3,500 headset. But if they did want to, they would make something exactly like this. I can't, I just got to touch it. Like this, this just feels like those headsets with more money involved. That's all. It's like the same limitations, same problems, just higher quality than the other ones because they have higher quality materials in it. You feel me? uh, I I do. I do. I I hear, I hear what you're saying. And I, it doesn't, I'm upset spaghetti. I can't believe, here's the thing. If what I saw today was all I got to experience, I'm with you. Apple missed. This is not the Apple we knew. This is a new era. Some, something's, something's up. I have to try this because based off of what people have said that have used it, they're not saying – Andrew Edwards is not saying, yeah, this is just Quest but better. Oh, I can't wait to see our group chat after he watches this. Andrew, just stop watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take, a, take a break this week. Off. <laughs> but like even I mean, here, let, let, let's be real here. Even in the Verge's review, he's like, this is still incredible. Like, yeah, I, I didn't notice. I don't doubt that at all. I noticed, though, that this review focused on a lot of bad things and not a ton of good. Like, I don't feel as if he really spent the time in saying these are the most amazing displays I have ever seen. Which is what other people have said. Uh-huh. I definitely felt well he did kind of he said like as a media consumption device it might be the best TV unfortunately uh I really hope it's not just a media device yeah god do I message I Justine and be like hey can I come over <laughs> Wait, that sounds bad. I don't mean it like Yikes. that. Yikes. I mean, like, can I try the headset? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to be fair, we're talking about Can Vision I try Pro. the Vision Pro? I don't, I, I, me and her don't have that relationship. That would be inappropriate <sighs> to be like, hey, let me. I just want to, yeah. I have, I still have no doubts that I'm going to put it on and be blown away by the technical aspects of this thing. See, but, but at I, the end I, of the day, 
the fact that it's a VR headset is going to be apparent, I feel like. Yeah, I really thought that this was going to be more of an AR thing, and I didn't see a lot of AR. I think that's I think that's what's letting me down is that yeah, I, I thought we were gonna see the first AR VR headset where this is still a VR AR headset. And and Apple has put in so they have so much history and time into investing into AR since LiDAR has been in the iPhone. Like how yeah. how? Twenty twenty we got the first LiDAR sensor on a Apple product. Hmm. And oh uh, less, possibly less important because I don't see, it's kind of like taking a picture with an iPad, but the cameras on this to oh, take a picture with, bad. not great. Cameras are really bad. We Eli, yes, that was at one point thought, said you. outright, just, just pick up your iPhone and take a picture. Yeah. Here we, it's right around here. I, I'm glad you pointed this out. A very, very good note to, to start wrapping on. It basically just uses one camera on the left side for pictures and those yes. aren't great. Video is Which, slightly better. May I note that's what the fake Vision Pro that I bought did? <laughs> Just use the left camera, which I was oh. like, it definitely brought up a what, bad wait, what did they know that we didn't? Yeah. Um, let me let me try to find he talks about it's like right here, I think. It's gotta be right here, right? I didn't miss it. No, yeah. So this is like some video. So that's oh. a photo. For audio listeners, uh best way I could put it is like uh that's like imagine, not it. Like imagine That's iPhone not. 6, maybe? iPhone 7? No, what dude, would you say? Like iPhone 4. Really? Me, to my eye, yeah. To what I remember. Maybe iPhone 6 in this lower Yeah, light. I recently took photos with this iPhone 4, and they are not good. <laughs> I would say those Vision Pro like, are slightly dude, better. Dude, there's no the field at all. Uh and that's initially how they told you spatial video was going to work. That you put it on at your kid's birthday party and you capture stuff through Vision Pro. Luckily, that's not the only use case now. You can also pick up your iPhone and record spatial video. Assuming you have uh, 15 Pro, Pro Max, and then when the 16s come out. Uh, and the Verge, they, they mentioned like, hey, the, the video is actually better. Like it seems like video optimized cameras, like an mm -hmm. A7S three versus an A7 IV or something. I super, I have a, right now, and I, I have, their media specifically, their reviews, I, I appreciate from The Verge, but I have a new appreciation for Neelai, the way he approached this, because there's a certain level of jaded that we all are in this industry, because we're fortunate enough to see all of the latest and greatest all the time, all year round. So this isn't his first VR experience. He's not, even if he was blown away, but his first time using it, he's not letting the excitement cloud his judgment here. The realistic yeah. version of this product that we're getting. And I really, really, really appreciate that. That helps sort of get ahead for the people that are, that are thinking about buying this or that bought one already and they're waiting for theirs to come in, it sets a certain level of realism of like where you're going to be after the newness wears off. There's like, that's what I'm saying. There's a place for all of these people. It's, it's the difference between how you are really excited talking about news and I'm becoming less excited about talking about news and what that yeah. now. Yeah. Now I'm more interested in what that news means six months from now. And mm, that's a good uh, way to put it. yeah, I, 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 the reviews that are, that are out there right now, uh, though they don't paint a, a, a whole picture out of a lot of reviews that, that come out for Apple products early, this is some of the best round of reviews you get, you get multiple versions. You get the ones that are just going to make you excited. The I Justine that's excited to just show you how crazy technology is. Uh, and you have the people like Neelai that are going to show you the other, the other side of the coin that might not look as perfect. And they also gave this like super traditional media as well, like CNBC. Yeah. They have and it's those people that I feel like they have the more weight to like. Neelai can say a little bit, a little bit more than an I Justine can say. You know, like if, I feel like if I Justine says the same things that Neelai says, Apple goes to her a little bit less. I don't know. It's possible for sure. 
Here's Todd Hazelton over at CNBC. I believe he used to work at The Verge, actually, a different website. Here's a video of like him using it. And again, I mean. Does that look smoother? I think he's added an effect on it. Oh, did you see the motion blur there? There is something going on with this footage. So, oh, there's like ghosting happening in this footage. Yeah, somebody stabilized this, I think. Yes, because it's not shaking. When they move the windows, there's like a ghosting that's happening. It's yeah. Odd. I mean, I almost like the way this looks though better than the... This looks more premium to me. Yeah. What I'm seeing that is... I hope it's not yeah. the case. This is stable. Are you seeing the shifting? Like yeah, yeah, the that's, actual that's UI the shifting? Like that, that's, that's a stabilizer on top. But, but I saw it in like... Uh, an I Justine's thing. When she walked in the room... The oh, UI really? like shifted, like it re. Uh, oh, let me check. Let me check. It, like reinitialized the camera's positioning, and that's troubling because that's what those typical like AR glasses. That's the problems those AR glasses have. Let's Same see. Issue the Quest has. So this is her. Using she walked it, in, around. and there was like a YouTube. Yeah, here we go. See it like. Am I crazy? That looks like normal to me. I might be crazy. It looked like it was moving around. It looked pretty stable to me. I also love how we're just getting an iJustine house tour. Yeah. It's a sick house. I wish I owned a house. It's like your your tour through your fake Vision OS. <sighs> it just looks so cool. Wait, what was that? Was that... Oh, that's a light. I was like, is that a scratch on it? Oh, yeah. Jeez. I would imagine this could scratch to hell, though. There was a couple shots in these reviews where you can see just how shiny it is and fingerprinty. Like, it looks sick. There's a reason they shipped it with a microfiber cloth. Yeah. God, that the initial band looks so good, though. So good. So where are we at? <laughs> we, uh, we've been talking That's about That's what I mean. We're in limbo, and it's awful. We've been talking about this since 2018. I got to say, I don't, I don't like the things that we're saying about this, John. That's what I mean. It just doesn't feel like... I don't like that I woke up and got sad. Yeah. I texted three people and said, I'm sad with this frown emoji. Because I think Apple set me up for more. And I just want to be honest and say they that people like Brian Tong, people like Brian Tong that made like six videos about how the... The watching my family back would change my life. I'm not really seeing anybody talk about that all of a sudden. Well, like it's hard. And when we share our opinions, like someone replied to one of my tweets and said, well, Brian Tong said it's the most futuristic device he's ever used. I'm glad, like, I'm glad the people that Apple chose to tell you these things are telling you these things. <laughs> yeah. Like that, but, and I'm not saying that he's That's lying true. to you. Yeah. But, but personally, I'll be honest. I'm making a TikTok today about the things that Apple messed up on. Um, and I got to say, some of it feels icky. I don't the, remember being, I will say, I don't remember being worried for the Apple Watch. Let's go back. Let's watch. Uh, this will be a great way to end it. You, you want to pull up the Verge's initial Apple Watch review? Let's do it. Because this was, I, I remember watching this actually. And I remember watching it all the way through. Um, and I remember do you, being. Do you have one? Like when we're, it'd be oh. curious to see our own opinions from then, because I have coverage of that. Do I? Let's watch this first, and then let's check. I remember being beyond excited the day that this came out. So let's see what the Apple Watch looked like. I mean, it looks good, right? Yeah. I remember liking the way it looked. Oh my god, <laughs> little Eli. Oh Dude, my god. it's crazy. Oh, we're all gonna look. I mean, it looks good on the wrist. The screen looks, you know, there, there's actually a good shot. You can see the pixels on the screen. Yeah, but that that's not the same. That's a that is the same exact as eyesight small... looks now. No, think about the surface area of the of the eyesight screen. This is a, a a camera really close to a watch that you're normally looking at like this. If the watch is real small, you know. Yeah, but you're not looking Either at Either way, eyesight. the display wasn't great. Like, even the bezels, they were pretty... Uh, they were pretty thick. Actually, looking back, they weren't too bad. It, it was... I mean, 
they were thicker though. They were definitely thick with a few C's. So this is a good concept. It's like I'm gonna go out and live my life wearing the watch. I yeah. actually this this brings back memories. It's really hard to shoot an Apple Watch review because it's so small. Okay, I here's mean, it's, here's hang on. I got a good no, you one. You go, you go. Though the Apple Watch does not look exactly like that anymore, it looks pretty much like that still. True. Do you think it's acceptable for Vision Pro to look pretty much exactly the same in 10 years? It won't. And it will be unacceptable to answer That's your question. A if, in, if in 10 years it looks... Yeah, if in 10 years they it nailed looks the, desi- the same. They, they, they nailed... What Apple could nail about the Apple Watch... Apple nailed about the Apple Watch. Yeah, the tech is still ve- uh, clearly very early in the headset, which gives you credence to it. It's, it's too early argument. I won't disagree. <laughs> I'm so worried. <coughs> I just sneezed on the podcast. Bless you. Oh, I don't know. And I, I don't know. Again, I'm worried for what this means Let's because I already Let's spent that money. You know, I'm getting it regardless. Whether I wear it every day or whether I set it down after a few weeks, I spent the money. I already purchased it. I made the decision for me. I think I'm worried about the precedents that this sets. Are they, if they're going to be, I don't want to call them lazy because that's the wrong word. Can you help me with a word? They weren't lazy with Vision Pro. They, they were just greedy. weren't as attentive, I guess. Greedy is the word you're looking for. Yeah, and if they, they were if they were that now. way with this new product, how can I be confident about the few like other products? That that's been the one thing that we can always say about Apple. Oh, when people are like, well, Samsung did it first, or this company did it first. We've always been able to say that's fine because when Apple does it, they take a giant leap forward. Like things, they move the needle. The world progresses. And I just don't feel like this does that. And that is scary. I will say seeing this Apple Watch review, I'm not seeing problems. Like what were the problems? It was slower. It relied on your phone too much. Yeah, I mean, you can see how slow it is. Like, but also it kind of shows exactly what it was, which is. Yeah, like you can watch this review today and it tracks. Yeah, I mean, it talks about notif- des- the design, notifications, communications, where's fitness, so mu- health tracking. So much has to be different about Vision Pro in 10 years that it just is not, it, you can't compare it to the Apple Watch. And that's what I've said about this product. I don't think you can compare it to other stuff. I mean, at the end of the, the day. The only thing, well, now, I agreed too. I, I agreed that you can't compare it to other s- stuff to an extent, but now, like, you can. You can. Unfortunately, you can you can and almost have to compare it to the Quest and stuff because now the Quest, yes, as far I as I'm concerned, that. the Quest is back in the conversation. I agree. Well, that's until, that's until shocking. Until I try that you, this, that you until said I that. try it okay, right yeah, now, fair, yeah, fair I agree. I, based I will, off of yeah. what I've seen, based that's off of fair. what I've seen, the, um, for what I've seen, for it just being another VR headset but better. Now the Quest comes back in the conversation where it's like, okay, but for significantly less, you can get. Let's say 50% of the way there. Here's a great example of the Apple uh, Virgin missing in their initial review. Um, right here, fashion. Oh, Neelai's big bracelets. From back Here's back. a great example. The, the Apple Watch is not seen as the fashion piece that Apple shipped it as. Apple really thought that like people would be like, that's a beautiful watch on your wrist. That's not mm-hmm. what happened. The Apple Watch, I, I will still say it, it's kind of an ugly thing on your wrist. It's big. It's bulky. Where is my? Man, keep I mean, dude, it. they literally had like fashion, quote unquote, experts talking about the watch in this review. That's goofy as hell. The Verge goofy as hell for this looking back. I mean, I don't wear the I don't wear the Ultra for fashion. I wear it for function. Here's the stainless steel one. Again, mm. sorry, audio listeners. I'm showing a stainless steel Apple Watch Series you know what that looks Seven like on screen. Uh, it, this is a pretty watch to me. This looks nice, but again, that's why I bought stainless steel. I was saying back in the day, I wanted to look like jewelry. Uh, this is just like the battery life on the Ultra alone is just. I mean, worth it. It beats out the de- the pretty design of the other watch. When I go on two day trips, I don't even have to bring a charger. 
I don't, yeah, I don't. But here's another, okay, okay, It's okay, been like John, three days look. since I've charged my watch. Here's a great example of another big miss for the watch that none of us knew at that moment. Look at how long it takes to launch an app. Mm -hmm. My point being, apps were a mistake. We don't, we, we, John, when's the last time you've looked at a note on your Apple Watch? I'll tell you, for me, it was 2017. Like two years after it came out, I gave up. Yeah. I have a Bear Notes app on my watch. Let me find it. I can find some of my notes. And I've thought about, hey, I should do this. Here is, here's a script for a video on my wrist. I can't really, it's <laughs> is hard that to how see. You, yeah, that's actually, Look at I, that. I want to reveal, that's how I read the script for Front Page Tech while I'm recording. I just read it from my watch. Here, I mean, here it is. Like, that's something that we thought we were going to do. Uh, so Apple, I mean. But in this, in, in, in this initial thing, like, it still does that. It just does it faster. It's like I wanna, the, the, the idea was correct there. They were just limited from a technological aspect of processing that data. That got that bottleneck got fixed, and now that's better. With Vision Pro, it's like it, there's no complaint that it's slow. It's the ideas yeah. that, are, that are the issue. Well, that, that's what I want to make the comparison to as we, as we close this episode. So what Apple got right about the watch— in these, and this is an early review, Apple selected review of The Verge. I, re I remember they got this early because I was like, man, I, me at the time, I'm like, why didn't I get it early? I had like three <laughs> course, subscribers. Yeah. Apple got the design right for yes. what they would stick with. Apple got notifications right. And Apple got, did they get communication right? Not actually on this first version. The, the first version of like texting on the watch was horrible, actually. Uh -huh. So I would say they got, let's see, out of one, two, three, four, five, six. I would actually say Apple only got half of it right. Well, this is like, yeah, this is just the chapters. If I'm watching that, the initial review. So yeah, I'm these what the, I'm trying to do. He's looking at the chapters, audio listeners, he's looking at the chapters that uh, The Verge put in their initial review. Like so what I'm, and I'm trying and to, I'm trying to expunge that and compare it to this. Okay. We got way more chapters because YouTube is a very different place now yeah. than then. I, Man, I, I, the I more don't I know look at this, I feel like you can't compare these two. You can't, yeah. People, it's such people, a different thing. That's what I'm thing. saying. People have been saying, well, the Apple Watch wasn't perfect when it launched. I, that argument is now, as of today, out the fucking door. And, I, I, and I'm saying, I don't think you can compare these two products. Th this, mm -hmm. is, this isn't a first-gen product. This is like a... Like you said, is VR even should should Apple have ever made a VR headset? Maybe not ever, but like right now, it just feels like they really. And I wonder what they're re, like why it had to be. I done know now. why. I know why. Why? They. This is a proof of concept for AR, and it's a lot of VR right now. The proof of concept for yeah, AR. That's the, Apple is the proof is of concept VR company. Right they sell products. That's the. But that's I mean, why are we going to make the argument that now Apple's going to start doing more of this, just like experimental products? No, 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 no. I think that's what this is. And I mean, John, it's 3500 bucks. They know most people aren't going to be touching this. I will agree. A lot of parts of this do not stack up to what Apple said based off of what we're seeing now. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I agree with you. Mm -mm. I'm with you. Yeah. I, I Like the design tracks, the, the eye track. I mean, for me, I've only experienced... Okay, this is actually really interesting because now that we've seen it, all hold not even all holds bar off though. Okay. What are the problems with a with VR today that need to be solved? For me, like as a whole? Yeah. I I, I have a few things that come to mind. It's low resolution. Uh-huh. It's inefficient. Like it's harder to do things in VR than just like use a computer. Um, feel free to throw anything out as you. I'm sort of spitballing as well. If you think about problems with VR, weight, weight would be one for sure. It's like all the problems that all it goes. I'm so sorry for repeating myself, but it goes back to my original argument from my original video. It's like all the problems that exist with Vision Pro are not exclusive to Vision Pro. It's all the same problems that every VR headset has. So why did you make another VR headset? Like, if you couldn't, cor I, I thought the whole reason they made this was to correct all the problems. The thing they, they did that other people didn't is they corrected the problems that VR has, and they didn't. The, v the, 
the displays are much higher quality than other VR headsets before it. But it is not what they were claiming. Like, they were claiming that this is like, that's the one, that they figured this out. High, crazy high fidelity, indistinguishable from real life, but in reality, it is just another low resolution VR display. R not Maybe not on paper low resolution, but low resolution in the sense that your eyes are on top of this. And it's, you, especially with the limitations of like the field of view and stuff, the fringing on the sides, it is still, the way he, he mentioned it, like it, it constantly reminds you that you're looking through a display. I wonder, this is, this is what I'm going to challenge you with and, and myself as well. Would you say we're both a little bummed right now? That is the best word. Yeah. Both a little bummed. Both a little bummed. Do you think that this is potentially because we can look at a watch because we fundamentally understood what a watch could be, but is it possible when we put this on, our ideas about virtual reality will change? That's that's entirely possible. Yeah, I'm not that's one of those people. That's the only hope I would like, say. Yeah, like, I'm not I'm definitely not one of those people that's going to like you know, not stray uh, not I'm okay with straying from my own opinion if I'm wrong. I oh, I want to be wrong. I would love to put this on and go, "Sam, let's record an episode right now. I got backtrack on everything." I I actually think this episode for me is proof that I am going to review this fairly. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, this episode was not me coping. This episode is me being like, uh -oh. I'm let down by a lot of things I've <laughs> yeah. seen. Um, and I need to want. I don't want to see. make people less excited. Like, if you are excited about this, you deserve to be excited. I'm excited. I feel... I feel more conflicted than I've ever felt about this product. I think maybe I'm feeling now what you've been feeling for seven months. Yeah, I feel more conflicted about this product than any... Apple product ever. Oh, for I sure. Think. For sure. Ah, other than the new Mac Pro. That's that's up there too. Like, why? <laughs> why even? <laughs> Maybe the USB C Apple Pencil, $79. But this is a, yeah. This is a good proof of concept for what I'm trying to do, though. Like hmm. hearing you say I'm coming around to what you said seven months ago makes makes me feel like I'm on the right track of something. Yeah. But well, we still have to try it. I mean, I, I'm all yeah, always. I'm very open minded. I, I honestly, I almost don't know what to expect when I put this on. Yeah, more that's than fair. I more than I didn't before. Like I feel like when I saw the guided tour, fair I was like, fair. oh, I'm gonna do the eye tracking, sign up, and then I, you know, I get going on. The, there's apps in front of my living room, but now I feel like. I feel like there's so many, there's so much more to tinker with and. Yeah. Where's my phone? Where did I set my telephone? Oh, how did it get, it fell. Cause, uh, cause I think, I think my benchmark f for this is the quest three is unusable outside of niche games. E you're not, you're not browsing the web on the quest. It's on, I would say it's unusable. Oh, I wouldn't say it's unusable. I would say okay. Miserable. I would I would I would say that uh not a, I don't think it's exclusive to the Quest. I just don't I think browsing the web in VR isn't fun. Sucks. Yeah. yeah. Is Apple going to make that better? Let's find it doesn't out. Doesn't look like it. I mean It doesn't look like it, but I mean, I noticed Joanna Stern was like working in here was actually kind of good, mm -hmm. which shocked and, me. And uh, I was expecting I, that to be the weakest spot. I've heard that Pro apps are coming as well. You're doing this thing this episode is being real like a little slithery, slimy guy. You're just like Apple. I'm not trying to be slippery. You're slithery, just like slimy. Apple. You're marketing John Prosser right now. No, I'm, I'm not trying to be slippery, slimy. I just uh, I got a track record for saying things too early. Uh, so I'm just, True. you know, instead of st sticking my flag anywhere, just like be on the lookout for, you know, Apple's video editing app. See, you're so funny. You're so real for that. <laughs> uh, Which would be cool. Let's just say, hypothetically, if we had Final Cut Pro. Hypothetical. Complete hypothetical. Do you think this would be a native app, or would it be the iPad version? I... If this is a hypothetical? Yeah. 
and I hypothetically heard anything, I would hypothetically say it is not an iPad app. So let's think. What we edit right now by using a mouse and keyboard to click and drab clits and drab and clits. Would be, Sorry. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still looking for that. I want that uh, app. Try to find the. <laughs> I control it like well, that. Well, with side loading in the little, EU, you can... Just a oh little my ball. God. Stop! Okay. There's children. <laughs> um, if I have my footage like here, I'm just trying to imagine what like this experience would look I like. I would imagine it's only fun and usable if you're using physical keyboard and mouse, you know? Hmm. Like, I, drag, I mean, I'm just thinking like, in my timeline, it's kind of hard to... If I was just like looking at a clip, and I pinch to drag, and then yeah. I drug that clip in my timeline, and I could see it. Massive. That might be more difficult for us because we have all the muscle memory of doing it one way for years. It might be easier yeah. for people that have, to like learn video editing that way. I don't know. <sighs> maybe, maybe it would be interesting. That sounds like though. it would slow me down. But that's not what I what I want to see that I was most disappointed is, is more AR stuff. I was told this is a mixed reality headset, not a VR headset with a couple AR features. I may, may well. Maybe you could argue that's where the devs come in. You could argue that, yeah. Apple Maps as you're walking around that gives you directions to turn left and right. Oh my god! Um, cooking timers you, in the kitchen. Do you do you see that happening? Do you see people walking on the street with Apple Maps open in their Vision who you're doing Pro? A podcast with right now? No, no, no. I no, no. I do. I'm not asking okay, you. Okay. I'm saying. Is that something you... I'm genuinely asking. Can you visualize people oh. walking around the sidewalk with Vision No, Pro? most people have standards for themselves. That's where we're okay, different. Okay, just checking. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't care what people think about me. I mean, I do, but like... I don't care enough to stop me from trying out Personas. That. Oh, that jo uh, Joanna... Is, there, is it Joanna Stern? Yeah, Joanna. Uh, she, her hair was stuck in place as she's showing. Doesn't move. Yeah. Neelai looks pretty good there. Oh, Johnny Man. boy, I don't like, I'm leaving this episode with anxiety. Like, okay. Like, I'm uh, not even kidding. This, on screen right now, Neelai's showing his view, and he's got the personas, like, he's FaceTiming, but his, it's not mixed reality, he's somewhere else. Like, it's virtual reality. The rest of his environment is, like, in the desert or somewhere. That is nothing that the Quest doesn't do. Yeah. And that I didn't expect that. I have been on the train of like, can't really compare this to the Quest. But now, do you remember when I said Mark Mark Zuckerberg understands this space more than Apple does, it seems? I do remember you saying that. I remember yeah. disagreeing. Yeah. I also still disagree. Actually... He recently said, and I don't know where I saw it quoted, but he said he's opt I think he said he's optimistic for Vision Pro or something, and he sees the Quest being like the Android equivalent of of headsets. And that's I feel like that's completely true now. Like we're going to have Vision Pro, but unlike what people thought, Vision Pro does not knock out Quest products now. In fact, I'd say now they're pretty parallel. I think uh having the options is going to continue. I don't think this kills the quest at all. I think, if anything, it elevates the quest and it, it's going to bring even more attention to the quest because now as Apple brings uh, VR, AR, MR to people's attention, now there's going to be new people that hadn't considered the quest before that will now consider the quest because they, can, they might be able to obtain that easier. And so I think uh, in a weird way, um, by Apple sort of missing the mark here, it is allowing for more competition to fill some holes and everyone and consumers win that way. Here's my final thought. Cause I think I'm about tapped out of, of things to say. Yeah. I don't think I could say a single fucking word more. I, I feel tried. like meta has shipped products that work. Okay. Today. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Apple shipped a product for tomorrow. Like, Hmm. It looks different. It feels different. It's heavier. You know, it doesn't really make sense in the current landscape of VR headsets because it doesn't feel like Apple really wanted this to be a VR headset and they had to make a bunch of compromises to sell it. Mm. But then that goes back to the initial question, why sell it? Like, what is the... There we go. 
Yeah, like what what is their what is the necessity for Apple being in this space? Is it just because they can spend money on higher quality displays? Cuz I feel like that's just not enough. Hopefully future me feels much better. Uh John, I feel actually like anxious about this now. I was looking forward to this product for so long. Do you think I'm going to be let down? Um wouldn't that be crazy if number one app, as everyone would call it, the number one Apple sheep let down? I would say that's when there's a problem. That's a, We're in a, an interesting position because I feel like I can't be let down because yeah. I have, like, if anything, I can just be surprised at this point. They can, it can only be he, better than what I'm hoping. Here's another uh, last. But you, but you, yeah, it may, it almost makes me feel sad to see you go from excited to worried. <laughs> here's a good final final thing this is everyone who got its fifth time using the product oh for these reviews you mean marquez neli joanna all Justine, apple select apple's Brian butts. Tong. they they've had context for seven months before now to the point where I wonder if in their reviews, subconsciously, there were some things that they knew and didn't either explain or show. I mean, I, 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 I think they could show us everything that Apple gave us to show. That's what, we, that's what we've been showing or been saying. Like, There's a reason why we're not seeing more. Every time we see Vision Pro, it's kind of the same stuff. And there's a reason. Yeah. And I just, there's not... Until developers really get cracking. And developers can't fix fundamental oversights or issues or flaws. It's They can only do so much. Oh, Apple. <sighs> Why do you do this to me, Apple? What a waste of Apple, there's still year. time. By the way, if you want to change my mind, if you want some more positive PR, give me a 30-minute demo. I'm in LA. I know you have an office in LA. This is for you, Apple. I'll be, I will be, Apple, I will be there so fast. If anybody you only has have a Vision Pro headset, you actually have it. Yourself. But does anybody have a Vision Pro headset I can try? You are about to have multiple in three days. Am I? Is anything real, John? I hope. Uh, hey guys, I'm putting yeah, on Apple yikes. Vision Pro. <laughs> Do I look good? <laughs> that looks like the eyesight. Whoa, display. this is like real life, bro. Whoa. Uh. Dude, I will, this is I, I'm gonna make Actually, a prediction. Let me do it more realistic. Oh I'm my God! Ah! Ah! <laughs> God! Why would he, he just shined raw LED lights into his face? No diffusion. Directly. In is his this eyes. what it feels like to be in Vision Pro? This is who I picked to do a podcast with, everybody. Like, I don't know on. if I like this. It's so white. Three years I with mean, this man. He's so white. I picked him. <laughs> I would like to make a prediction, Sam. Okay. I think we're. I think that when we try it, at first, we will let up a little bit. I think uh, things won't be as bad as we think, and then we'll slowly come back down to earth. And our final opinion will so be somewhere in the middle of this. I agree. Which with is you. still scary. And I agree with that. Guys, what an interesting an journey you're going to have on Genius Bar for the next few weeks, people. Buckle up. Buckle up for Friday. Again, I have got some videos planned. I don't Buckle up. Are you ready? Hope you enjoyed you this. Hope you enjoyed this bonus emergency episode of Teach Bar. No sponsor. Just no shenanigans. Just Share this video with somebody else and they don't have to watch it. You did that for me. Yeah. You're welcome, everybody. This one out today, I assume? I think we have to cut it. It's got that one part in the middle where my family oh, is. Yeah. It is. It's really funny. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you. If you if this is your second time, 
this is your first second time, time spending it. spending uh, part of your week with us in the same week. Thank you. That's you've gotten almost four hours of Genius Bar content this week. And that this is, is fucking first, crazy. If this is the first time you've ever watched, thank you. Please stick around. We love you. Give us a review on iTunes and give us a like down below. Yeah, we'll see you guys uh, in a few days. Enjoy. See you guys in a few good days. Good luck. Good luck with Vision Pro. See you on the other side, everybody. <laughs>